Hello everybody and welcome to this, a video walkthrough for the boss Constantine Breko in the video game Alpha Protocol by Obsidian Entertainment, published by Sega. Okay, straight off the bat, this is not an easy boss, as you've probably already found out if you're having a look at this guide. It's not made any better by the fact that there are some really nasty bugs and design flaws in this game, uh, but we'll get to them later. To start out with, Breko's just wandering around the stage. Take a few pot shots at him and start wearing down his health. Try to avoid using your powers if you can. Um, if you want to use them, like I did there, go right ahead. Specialist ammunition is also going to be very, very important for this boss. Anything which deals very high damage potential and bypasses armour will be very helpful for you. If you're using the pistol like I am, that means steel core rounds. If you're using the assault rifle, then ADPS rounds are probably your best bet. Uh, I'm not familiar with the shotgun and submachine guns because I didn't like using them, but um, you'll probably know what you need to use if you've been using them up to the game at this point. Basically, just take your time here and be careful. Stay where you are and just wear him down. If you're a shotgun user, go around to the sides of the stage without being spotted, charge up your shotgun, then run up, knock him over and lay down the hurt. Alright, now here is the trick to this boss fight. When Breko is doped up on coke, he is pretty much invulnerable. He also has a melee attack which hits you four times and takes off an absolute ton of damage. If you're watching this review, you probably already knew that. There's no point here doing anything except running. Just keep running away from Breko and eventually he'll fall over and the battle will continue. Don't try to attack him. Don't even bother trying to go for him when he's fallen over. Just concentrate on avoiding him. That's all you need to do. Once he's gone, you'll see that uh, he spawns some mooks to attack you. I'm switching to the assault rifle here because it's got better range. I'm saving the pistol for Breko, strangely enough, because my skills are much higher with it, it's easier for me to lay down the hurt on him like that. Try to clear out these mooks as quickly as possible. Ideally, you want them gone before Breko comes back down onto uh, the ground level again. If you can't manage it, then it's no biggie, there's no need to restart the game over it but you do need to get them cleared as quickly as possible. You can see here I've got one left. So I'm going to go around and finish him off and hopefully avoid Breko's fire. Yeah, there we go, nicely done. Now, here's the second trick. This is where Breko's at his most vulnerable. When he's not tanked up on coke and also when he's on your level. You can see there I was just a little bit too late. He just started to uh, give himself a noseful. So the damage I did was fairly minimal. Also, you'll note I was using steel core rounds there and it barely scratched him. That's how bad his damage resistance goes when he's actually on the coke. Again, just keep running. I'm taking a bit of a risk here to pick up a bit more ammo. Falls over. If you get the opportunity to take some shots at him when he's fallen over, by all means go for them. But don't concentrate on trying to get that. It's just not worth it. If you're constantly looking over your shoulder when he's chasing you, chances are that you're going to end up running into a piece of scenery and taking cover and then he'll just come up to you and carve you in half. From here on out it's the same cycle over and over again. He'll jump back up onto the balcony and he spawns some mooks. Take out the mooks as quickly as you can and then just hide from Breko until the lights flash up and he's back on your level again. Again, this is the point where he's at his most vulnerable, so make, make the best of it. That's the basics of it, so I'm just going to leave this for a little bit now and uh, let you experience the level, which is kind of like Pee-wee's Playhouse, if it was made by Kiss. And there, just to prove a point to you, even the assault rifle is doing minimum amounts of damage to him at this point. Just seriously, whatever you do, don't bother trying to attack him. You'll also notice if you're running out of health, there are two separate little boxes there next to the pillars on either side of the entrance door. Feel free to use them, obviously, and but do be careful. There are very few safe times to go for them. When Breko's running around after you is, ironically, probably the safest time to go after them because there's no gunfire and you don't actually need to stop to use them. Taking a lot of risks here going for melee strikes. Oh, I hate the way these guys block. Okay, he's been dealt with. Here comes Breko again. 
The chain shot ability is your best friend if you've got a pistol. Uh, you can use it to make sure that you instantly get two headshots straight off on Braco. Or if you're playing in the later game, or you invest it heavily in the pistol, even more. Chain shot is probably the best skill in the game, even if it is ripped off from Splinter Cell Conviction. Oh, come, come on, think about it. It's the marking system by any other name. Trying to play tag with him there. Didn't didn't work too well. Be careful when you're sprinting as well. Uh, I'm actually playing on the PC here, but I am using the Xbox 360 controller. A is sprint. A is also take cover. In an arena this crowded, that can lead to some really, really frustrating moments. Just one of the many design problems that are present in Alpha Protocol, and in many of Obsidian's games actually, but come to think of it. Anyway, this isn't the place to get into a rant about Obsidian. I'm aware that I'm not powering up for the critical hits with the assault rifle, but I'm just trying to get these guys down as quickly as possible. Okay, now this is the turning point. This is the last stage of the boss fight. Uh, once you get Braco down to a certain amount of health, he'll no longer retreat to the balconies. He'll just alternate between the attack patterns of uh, slice your face off and shoot you with the SMGs. Provided that you're careful, this is actually the easiest part because you just need to make sure that you take cover from Braco, stick your head out when your powers to do extra damage have recharged, and then just keep running away from him the rest of the time. You see there's another mook there. That's probably the last of the mooks I'll see now. See here, just a quick pit stop over at the painkillers. Is this much pain? Just waiting there in cover for my uh, powers to recharge. If you've got the master level awareness skill, which I do, that can make it much easier to avoid break off because there's always markers dotted around above each enemy so you can tell exactly where they are and where they're facing. As a rule of thumb, if you're relying on that like I was there hiding behind the pillar, if Braco's marker stops moving, he's getting shot up. Well, shut up, you don't inject cocaine. Ooh, headshot, motherfucker. Okay, that's it. That's uh, Braco down. Hopefully this should help you out a little bit more. Uh, if you want to, there's a link to a written version of this guide, which you can print out and have by your side while you're playing through the game. Hopefully now you'll be able to beat him, so best of luck, and subscribe to my channel for video reviews and more walkthroughs. Thank you very much.